hello everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Fatima and in today's video we are gonna do the top which matches the skirt we did in the last video we are needing fabric linen and the patterns a seam ripper a cutter a very sharp scissor some thin needles a white thread or any color and my ruler I'm using a Singer sewing machine an overlock machine which is optional and my iron for the inspiration I like to draw them down I think that's very crucial for my brain but also just to draw the ideas down to have kind of a clearer vision depending on who you are maybe it's different for you I just like to have it clear and in on a silhouette so here I also realized that I do want to have a hook and eye as a finishing and I try also to push myself to every time I do a garment to start and have a silhouette which goes with and I'm gonna use the leftover fabric of we used already last time for the skirt video if you haven't checked that out please go also here you have the free patterns for the skirt you can just download it as a PDF and print it out for the size small folded the fabric and cut it already on fold here I'm showing just the side seams you do have to add them on your patterns usually it's a one centimeter all around and the back has to be cut on a whole on fold as you can see here and you have total of seven pieces I'm sewing them now with a straight stitch together also here I'm sewing them one centimeter away because I do want to also overlock the edges and before that I open the seams and iron them nicely it gives you a very nice and clean finish and go over with the top stitching here I'm using a white thread just because I like the contrast and I did that already on the skirt and I'm sewing five millimeters away from the initial stitch on the left and right side this step is also totally optional I just like to give it kind of an extra structure This is how it should look like. 
front and back I did at the same time the lining and now I put them face to face together so this step is optional you don't have to do a lining I'm trying now to sew the sides together so I flip it around I did realize that I made kind of a little mistake actually you are supposed to open one of the side seams on the lining to turn around the whole piece I did not film that step my apologies but I'm trying here to push the fabric and lining out it was super hard because the fabric is quite thick and the lining I used a linen which was super fragile in terms of like breaking up and I'm not sure if that's the right term to use for linen but it was just not working and I did a prototype with the patterns in muslin the only thing is when you use muslin it's it's a very thin cotton and you basically don't get the same result so I assumed that it would work and also on the prototype I didn't even use a lining that's my bad so again depending on like the fabric you pick maybe just go with something thinner and here I'm still trying to pull it out but it started breaking it started to unthread and yeah I decided then just to remove the fabric I mean the lining where it was just impossible as you can see now and I sew the side seams together I was not very happy with the result and if my sewing teacher would see that she would get a heart attack but yes this is how it looks the shape though is really pretty I'm removing here some threads just cleaning it and then adding also the hook and eye I was not really happy so I decided to cut again the same patterns out and do this time a different finishing I did overlock the side seams inside and decided to do a bias at the end of all edges and again I wanted to have that contrast so I'm using a white bias I press it down here with the iron to turn it to the inner side which you will see in a second and then stitch in the ditch which means basically I flip it now and 
kind of in between I will stitch them together so you don't see the stitch And this is the result honestly I'm super happy it's the first top with it here it looks actually really neat from outside you would not you, you won't be able to tell of course it would it still bothers me a bit from inside but I did learn something from that and here a little close up with the hooks and eyes it gives it almost like a kind of corset vibe and it goes so well with the skirt either I wear them together or separately but the idea was to wear them together and maybe even put the top inside the skirt or maybe also have kind of like a blouse under the top could also look super cute and combine it with either boots ballerinas flip-flops whatever you feel like I'm showing also the second top I did with the bias I did not add the hooks and eyes on yet but looks also super cute with the contrast and I'm happy actually to have both and yes, I hope you guys like this video. Leave any comments if you feel like. And I hope I see you in the next video. See you next time. Bye guys.